Harold Amenya, Marketing Director. Harold, the show is all yours now. Thank you so much, Charles. Can you hear me good? Can you hear me loud good? Loud and clear, loud and clear, brother. Awesome. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be on this very August call. Um, it's Monday, the 3rd of August, 2020. I'm super pumped up, super fired. Um, our Monday Night Live is back. And guess what? It couldn't have returned with a better person than our guest for tonight. Now, our guest for tonight, um, originally with an accounting background, holds a Master's of Science in Supply Chain and Management Information System, a Prince2 Projects practitioner and PhD holder in Business Administration, former IT head of GPHA, and now a lecturer at GTUC. Um, he's also the CEO of Knowledge Web Center, a research think tank, and a panel member for the what, CAS France doctoral program. Done a number of publications and won a number of international awards, currently leading a team on blockchain adoption in the port industry sponsored by Morgan State University in the US of A, and also a member of a team of researchers on code research in Canada. Currently a consultant for Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders and PEFF Management Consultants. Dr. Boysen is the concept developer um, and implementer of the port automation, now the paperless port, and was also a member of the committee um, of the paperless port process in 2017 a committee the vice president put together to develop the roadmap for sea and airports process for the country. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest for tonight's call is the one and only marketing director. So for those of you who are not part of World Ventures, um, just in case you're wondering what marketing director is, it's somebody who has a team of at least 400 people Okay, and is a residual income and uh, averages between four to five thousand dollars, whether he wakes up or not. That's what it means to earn residual income. So, I guess for tonight, this is someone who is a fire brand. Um, he just joined this business barely some weeks ago, guys, and he's crushing it. He's breaking records, records that we never knew could be broken. Um, this man is doing it, and he's doing it on a big scale. Very soon to become regional marketing director, we are so privileged to have the one and only Dr. Boysing as our guest for tonight. Dr. Boysing, can you hear me good? Yes, sir. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so honored to have you. How are you feeling? Oh, I have seen you on telly, so in person now. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, those times when we see you on telly, we right. think that you have a lot of money, so we want to see you. You see you? Yeah, I think that the <laughs> internet is becoming erratic. Um, uh, you know, at, at your end, if it's, it's, it's okay. It's good here. It's good here. Um, so um, if our guests can give us the feedback, if the internet is good at your end, you can just comment in our Q&A session that the internet is okay, okay? But I mean, I'm fine here. I'm fine okay, here. Good. Right. So let's get straight into it. Um, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. Listen, I know, I know, I know. With the momentum you have in your team right now and the kind of income you're making, definitely... There's a lot going on around you and you have still taken time out of your busy schedule um, to be here right now. So let's go straight into it. Who is Dr. Boy Singh? I mean, I've just read a bit of a bio, but before, you, before joining World Ventures, okay, um, who was Dr. Boy Singh? I mean, in a nutshell. Wow. Harold like asking very difficult questions. <laughs> <laughs> who was i so okay so like you you you, you read brief of my my file um I, i'm a lecturer at ghana technology university i i teach at the masters and the phd levels uh, interestingly i teach at the phd level statistics <laughs> but I'm a, i have an accounting background i've always had the belief that um the knowledge God has given us, we should be able to veer into any discipline. So um, sometimes very difficult I mean, programs are introduced and I just decide to just do my research and I, I see myself teaching those, those subjects. That's who I am. I'm a lecturer. I used to work with GPHA. 
uh, I did the auto automation system. Um, Vice President uh, had the honor of becoming a committee he set up. And we developed the, the roadmap for the entire country's uh, seaport and airport. And aside that, um, God, I was, when I was teaching at the PAD level, I was added to the panel. Uh, the panel for doctoral programs and what we do is we review works and then we that panel awards actually awards the PhD they, they go through your thesis and they will tell you you have passed or you have failed and uh, so before prior to world ventures that was what and I also have passion for research and I've, I own my own research think tank so Prior to that, what I was doing at the lockdown was with Dr. Novo, who is now also a senior rep, uh, incoming director. And I had assembled them and other guys at home, and that's what we we're doing, uh, just doing research. Mm. So, and uh, in fact, when you, when you come to my house and you see me, you might think I'm the, I'm the house boy. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, we live a very simple life. Um, right. Right. So, right. Sometimes when someone sees you, hey, Dr. Boyson, and you become frustrated. Just imagine how you are buying watch here and somebody says, hey, Dr. Boyson. I can relate. I can relate. So, Dr. Boyson, tell us real quickly, um, how did you chance on this, this gift? I like to, I mean, I like to call World Ventures a gift. I mean, a lot of us saw World Ventures through different means. First of all, um, how difficult was it getting you even to see the opportunity? Because, I mean, sometimes, you know, depending on how busy we are and how distracted we are, we can even be prevented from checking out this opportunity that can literally change a lot of lives. Not just our lives, but the lives of so many people that we know. How did you chance on this opportunity? So um, thank you for that question. I had a, one of my students. Uh, I I think um, Newman Corte was part of the the CAS program, uh, CAS um, Euro program, and that's a national program. So I I, I taught them that I think so optimization or global like one of. But you see, I am a type of person that I bond very well with. So when we come to class, we are friends. So he sent this link to me and just, I read the caption, an opportunity to earn extra income from home. So quickly when I saw the text, what I did was that I just took a, a piece of paper and then wrote on it, earning income from home column COVID-19 period. So I told Dr. Nobo Natale, we have a, a topic to write about. So these guys, they are doing some, I don't know what they are going to do. Numa sent this to me. So I'm going to take advantage of this. So I joined, I joined, I, that, that haste in joining was not because I wanted to know what you guys were doing. I wanted to record the presentation, transcribe, so that we put up a paper. Because we are then, yeah, for work. So that, that was it. But you see, today when I when I sit back, I realize how information can just slip. Something that can change your entire life can just slip off. All right. So I ask myself, what if I didn't pay attention to this? But okay. Even the so attention I pay to it was because I mm. wanted to put up a paper. It was not because I had an interest in that. Mm. 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 So, you, and you see, uh, Dr. Boyson, I can actually relate on this grounds because I showed up to see World Ventures to get the person who was inviting me off my back. You know, um, it's, it's, it's not too good here, but- I can say, oh. Uh, Dr. Boyson, can you hear me good? I can, There's I can now. Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, you can now. Yeah. You can now. Okay, cool. I lost you for a moment. Sorry about that. And I was <coughs> saying that um, I can relate, I can relate uh, on what you're saying because I showed up to see World Ventures just to get somebody off my back. The person was inviting me, you know, just kept going on and on and on. And I'm like, listen, I just have to show up to get her off my back so she stops disturbing me. So... 
it, it, I can relate. Now, when you joined the call, at what point, at what point did you realize, or at what point did you make a decision or decide that this is something you probably want to be a part of? So when I joined, you know, uh, when I was in GPH, um, Rovarans production with them to do a so I'd see stage before. When I saw him, I said, oh, this is the guy. Then I just remembered the part he played. So is the internet stable now? Okay. So I enjoyed the part he played. And so when I saw him presenting the whole deal, I was excited seeing him, but I was also doing my recording. My principle in life has been that um, I need to pay attention to everything because I was going to record this thing and then transcribe so I understand. So what in that? Then I realized go into other than what I'm advantage of. The first thing that blew my mind. Wow. $69, is this real? Because then in 2017, I had just traveled to um, Italy to present a paper. Um, so we seem to have lost, lost Dr. Boysing here. Um, Dr. Boysing seems to be having um, a bit of internet challenges. Um, so guys, sorry about that, but it's still Monday Night Live right here. We're trying to get him back. I'm back. You're back, right? Um, I, I think, think I've, 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 I've just changed, I've just switched the network. So Great, thank you. So thank you. I think, yeah. So you were saying? So where, where where did you where did I go uh, off? So so you you were talking about uh, being on the call and um, Kabute being on the call and you know so so me. so I was I was just blown away by the presentation. I realized that there was one one trip, the Baja Mexico trip, and then I had then traveled to um, Italy specifically Milan to present a paper. And I spent about $5,000. That was one of the papers that won an international award. So I, I, I was looking for an opportunity to do maybe each quarter, maybe two, two, two uh, I wanted to attend two conferences. So when I saw this, then I said, hey, $69, then I can pretend to be going to USO, then I'll pass somewhere and present my paper and come back, pay $69. So I was, I was, that was what, I mean, drove me into this thing. Then I had to pause the recording. Now, no more research. Let me just listen to this thing. So it was at that point I realized that, see, this thing is something that um, I can take advantage of. But I was not looking at the revenue side, but just the travel. So even, even after the business side of the presentation, it still didn't do it for you. You were still focused on the travel. No, no, I was not. It's, it's, it, it was a travel. It the was travel. the travel that, that, that attracted me. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So that said, you signed up immediately after, and then you, you got your first four members on board within 24 hours, and you waived your monthly fees. How, how was it in your first, um, in your first 24 hours? What, what, what kind of um, energy did you have? What kind of information were you um, convening to the people you were signing on and stuff like that? How was your first 24 hours like? So, <clears throat> after the presentation, Newman then called, the guy who, who introduced me uh, is Newman Corte. He works with uh, uh, Ghana Airport. So, he called me and called Kabute. And then on the phone, Kabute was talking 
and he was trying to explain then i said that i asked him if the thing works he said it works okay i said okay i want you just sign me on and i asked what does it take to sign on so, then they say gold platinum and titanium okay i always want to be in the middle in fact in, fact, in, in most of the research i'm not quantitative i'm not qualitative i i i, I decide to be a mixed person so i said let me stay in the middle but see Harold, at that time i didn't have any money on me so then i said no this thing is also important so i called i've done some of these insurance i mean policies and i don't know what came came over me so i called them and i said that see i want you guys to drop this thing they said that no it's not possible i said what do you mean by it's not possible i mean i'm not doing it again get game over mm. just give me my money so oh we will charge you 200 i said you give me the manager's number i called the manager he said dr boise if you want us to do it immediately to cost you a little uh, uh higher than 200 i said how much I said 300 i said deduct it just deduct it and credit my account and he said i said now so when they did that, then I had access to my card and Kavute took me through the process and then I paid. Mm -hmm. So when I paid, I had that relief. Said at least I can, that Baja Mexico trip, $69. You will be there. <laughs> so that was what I was using. When I call my colleagues, I say, Charlie, <laughs> uh, do you know what? And you see, Kavute also told me not to do certain things. He said that Dr. Boyson is a simple process. Send the link to the guys, let them join, and then I will do the talking. Then I asked myself, this guy, does he, he you know he's talking to a PhD holder. He is going to talk for me. I sat down and said, but a PhD is in research. It's not your area. So we just accept. I said, okay, let me learn. All right. So some so the few calls I made, I nearly, I nearly made, I mean, flouted the room. But I remember that he said, I said, see, there's an opportunity to earn extra income from home. I've sent the link to you, so just join. Actually, in the 24 hours, I think I invited about 30. I think so. What was the invitation script? Do you remember the invitation script you used? Oh. I have it here. It's the same thing. Let me read. I think the same thing we use. It has not changed. So, hello. <coughs> a quick one. I have found a way to make some extra, and I thought of you first. That's all. And then you have the... Mm. Mm. So you got 30 people to, on the call, and out of that, four signed up in 24 hours. Yes, no, but you see, it is, the, the trip is $69. I don't know if you've, you've traveled before and you know the costs involved. Okay. Then if you even go and sleep at maybe a one-star or a two-star hotel, how much are you paying? And this is four or five star hotels. So mm -hmm. I was excited about that. Mm -hmm. And now, you see, mm -hmm. Harold, the, the interesting thing that I didn't even know, I was I was not even conscious about the business part, honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it meant to be a business representative. All I knew was that I was going to travel. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Uh, you make a very important point here mm -hmm. about the fact that, you know, Kabute told you, who, Kabute, who happens to be uh, one of the leaders in your team, telling you what to do and you having to drop all the experience and the expertise you have to follow it. Now, for people on this call who just, who get started and they want to have opinions and they want to do things their own way, you know, I just want you to um, just let them understand how important it is for people to follow the system. Because you see, sometimes when I joined this business, I 
I, I just knew that obviously you can't join something you know, you know nothing about and try to do it your own way, you know. So what, what, how important is it for people to remain coachable and follow the system regardless of their experience in life? Every success in this business depends on us for no, I would say every success, every bit of success depends on that. Because you see, what feeds the system is the invitation. So I give an example. You want to invite a friend to join. And like I, like I was almost going to flout the rule, hey, my brother, you know, Charlie, I see some opportunity. You go feel travel, go Europe and everywhere. The, 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 the response would have been that, do you know we are on lockdown? That would have been the same, the first response. Are you crazy? All right. And let me say this. I'm not in this business. At the time, I mean, I was, we, we looked at him as a marketing director at the time. I think he had then hit that rank a month or two months or so. Okay. And this is the marketing director earning $5,000. A common lecturer, I'm not earning that $5,000. And he says that the simple rule is to just follow the instructions. If you decide to do otherwise, and that's why people struggle. Most of my downlines, I realize that they are struggling and I get close to them. And then you ask them the question, how are you uh, doing the invitation? One guy in front of me, he called one guy and said, Charlie, <coughs> uh, that thing where I talked to you about, you know, yeah, you go fit travel. Some of the, you see some of the trades be $69. The company will handle everything for you. So when I realized that I said, that's why you are having that challenge. See, mm. when you tell them what is in there, you kind of prejudice their thinking. So they come in already, the environment within which we are operating and the things that has happened in the past, those things are not making network marketing very attractive. All right? So, it's important that you allow the person to join the presentation himself and begin to develop the interest of listening or deciding to opt out rather than preempting what is going to happen there by telling the guy that, hey, when you join, uh, this is what is going to happen and all that. And sometimes we even go to the extent, maybe out of frustration, Charlie, you go earn $50,000 a month. And a guy looks at you, how is that possible? One other very instructive thing that we need to know is that, you see, things that we see, okay, in terms of pictures, communicates very, I mean, effectively than words. And that is why it's important that the person comes to the presentation. All right, so let me give you a typical example. On this presentation, if I join, the first thing I'll do I'll see the number of people on the call. That's number one. So then the guy joins and he sees, he said, ah, about 200 people on this call. What is it that 200 people have assembled here to listen to? That is one. He sees pictures. There is doubt. This thing cannot be true. Then all of a sudden, there is testimony. And they see Harold. Ah, this man is a TV personality. And then you give your testimony. And then the person sees uh, 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 National Marketing Director Charles Mensah. He says, ah, I used to know this guy. All right? Now, after the presentation, the guy will be in some sort of confusion. Wanting mm -hmm. to know, and he says, mm -hmm. they will call you. They say, Charlie, I want you to explain what you showed to me. The thing, it'd be like, whether it's a scam, he's saying that he's a, a scam, but there's one part of him telling him that this thing is, this may be true, okay? So let me listen to the explanation. And that is where 
if the, I call that moment the moment of truth. If you decide not to call your upliner and you want to talk to the person, you blow it up. Mm. It becomes very difficult now to re-engage that same person. Mm. Because the guy wants to clear his doubt. Awesome, 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 awesome. I like the sound of that. So, I mean, that's definitely some nuggets for, for especially the new members, people that have gotten started and you're not doing things right. Dr. Boysing is remaining coachable and doing the things that he's supposed to do according to the system. So I don't know um, what anyone else's excuse is. Now, Dr. Boysing, tell us, you seem to have had a lot of success, very fast success in this business. I mean, hitting the rank of marketing director in seven weeks. Are you kidding me right now? What was the secret? What did you do? I mean, I know, I mean, in seven weeks, you probably were, were, were still trying to, you know, get a hang over this whole business. I'm sure in the first seven weeks, you're still trying to settle, you know, but you seem to, um, to be producing at the time um, to build a team of 400 people in seven weeks. What did you do differently? What did I even know to do differently? You understand? Because I was just following, and, and let me say this, you see, most of the time I keep mentioning Kabute's name and people don't understand. So this young man signs me up and he's the one doing the registration for me. I, I didn't even know how the registration is done. So I get the contacts and then I send it to Kabute. Because we're doing the research, in my mind, all I was doing was that if I have if any thought comes to mind of a friend, then I'll, I'll just send the, the invitation. And Kapte had said that, don't do broadcast. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. I remember at a point in time when I was a director, I went online and Matt Morris had then called me to talk to me. And I was excited. And I put a picture and something on my page. But I didn't know that I shouldn't mention uh, board ventures. Or, and then Kabuti called me and said, Dr. Weiss, I said, what is it? He said, we are not supposed to do it. I said, just, just wait. Then I went and pulled it down. Because you see, I didn't want to do anything just to mar the successes that were chalking. So when he said that, and that was, I didn't know about that. So Kabuti, realized that so the next presentation he then told us i think the uh, new member orientation they told us what to do what not to do and all that because he, he said that this is not part of the rules and regulations of i mean world matches but but back to i mean that period so Kapte was doing the 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 what do you call it the close-ups for me and he was doing the registration Harold, I just devoted within that period, I think 10% of my time, because we're, we're, we're not deep in, in this research thing. Dr. Nobo was one side, we have uh, had them also at another side, and I think there were other few guys who had come around. And you know, I have also my PhD students who are also taking I mean, a bit of my time. So at a point in time, I realized that they were getting angry. Because small time, I call somebody, um, have you finished watching the presentation? And please, can I connect you to uh, a friend to explain? Then I stay back. And then Kabute will do that. Nearly close to about 20% of the people have, I mean, signed up. After the four, after the four has, I mean, in fact, I got six, six in 24 hours, okay? Out of the 30, I invited. And because the link was sent to me on the 10th, and it was on the 11th in the afternoon that I, I watched the presentation, by the next day, I had signed in 24 hours, I signed about six people. All right. And like I said, um, Kabute did most of the job I mean, for me. So for me, I thought that it was a simple process. Oh, just invite the person do a three-way call, that is all. And you said, you do nothing. I was good to go. And that was what gave me the success. There's no, people say that, 
but Dr. Boise might have done something differently. Take note that those who are very close to me, they didn't sign up. Nothing. Awesome. Awesome. So this is actually very interesting, right? So it just goes to say that really we have a system that works and following the system. No, it works. It works. It works. When you follow it, it works. So what would it you works. say? To, what would you say to people? I mean, Dr. Boyson, I mean, I'm sure you have no, you've never done network marketing before, just like myself. And um, you know, coming <laughs> what I board, did. No, the, mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. The other I've been in this uh, forever living. Okay, forever living. Um and then the uh, quantum pendant. But I was just buying, the guys registered me. I was just buying. I never attended their meetings and all that. The last one was Herbalife when my mom, my mom just passed uh, somewhere in December. We buried her before the, 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 the lockdown. So mm -hmm. I was also buying Herbalife products. But mm -hmm. I've not been into, I don't know the intricacies in, 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 in active network marketing, building a business in network marketing. So it's the same way. But so, so what would you say to someone? I mean, I have a lot of people on this call I have invited who are not yet members of World Ventures. They are very busy professionals and they probably are you know, very successful professionals who probably think they don't need this. In just in a, a few words, what would you say to such people who think that they are too busy for these things? No, it, it, it's, it's a matter of what the value this gives to you. So, um, when I hit senior rep, I didn't know the meaning of senior rep. All right? Because remember, my focus was on the travel. So, Capitol calls me. I see, in fact, when Capitol had wanted to use my picture, and I told him that Capitol had begged you, don't put me on the platform. Please, Kabuto said that, no, doctor, this won't change anything. At least it gives some sort of credibility to what we are doing. So this guy convinced me and I gave the picture. So when I go on, I mean, on the platform, I see uh, qualified. <laughs> then I ask, what is it? I say, you've waved off your monthly dues. I say, so what happens? Say, okay, it means that you're not paying monthly dues. I say, okay, so, uh, the company, they, they, they would dash it to me and say, yes. I say, okay. Then, in, in the first day, I hit, I think, after qualifying three days, I hit first star, second star, and I think the next day, third star, three star. So I saw my pictures on. on. Then I oh, asked exactly. Kabuti, and he says that um, three star, it means that you have earned this I said, okay, still I was then still doing the research. And you know, at three star, at two star, I had personally signed 14 people and a team of 22, all right? And then three star and then senior rep. It was during the senior rep time when Kabute said that, have you checked your back office? And I asked, what is back office? <laughs> so he says that I gave you a username and password. I said, really? Then I went there. So when I went there, there was a left and a right. And I saw the left um, uh, weekly earning, I think, 1,006 thousand, something. And then another 1,005. And I said, but I called him, I said, is this thing real? He said, yes. I said, okay. So around that time, we were, I think, expecting our salary. And the salary hadn't come. So when I saw the money, then I decided this is dollars. That's against Ghana City. And Ghana City is not yet in. So you better give this thing some sort of what attention. So I asked people, one of my downlines said that I'm okay. What I'm doing, I'm okay. I think I don't need this. Then I asked him that I believe that the work you do, they, they pay you $5,000. He said, no. And I said, you are not okay. See, 
if you look at this simple system, Harold, all this while I have de devoted, let's say, maximum 50%. I mean, from the time I started up to now, I have earned in excess of $12,000, right? In three and a half months. You tell me, what will you have time for? Because what we have time for doesn't give you this value. So I decided that I'm going to use this as my second job. And probably don't be surprised that one day you hear that the guy is not lecturing anymore. I can't wait. <laughs> Yes. You understand what I'm saying? I, I perfectly understand you. I perfectly understand you. But you see, it all boils down to um, the mindset, right? It's a mindset thing. I mean, I meet people and you see, what you, what you don't know what you don't know. And that's one thing I've come to realize. A lot of people are walking about and they don't even know what they don't know. All right. So sometimes you settle for what, what you know and what, you, what you've grown in is what you are comfortable with. And that's all you know. So you tend to not appreciate anything else. Sometimes it could be the, the, the very answer to the prayer you've been you know, putting before God, but it's like you are just used to what you know and then that's all you want to know. So it's very important that um, you bring that up. So Dr. Boyson, tell us, I mean, having been, they haven't been, been producing all those numbers. I'm sure. How many personals do you have right now? Personally sponsored um, customers. <laughs> I think I have 47. 47 active personal customers. Now, how do you create yeah. duplication? How have you created duplication? Because I, I'm, I'm suspecting that most of the work, okay, is being done by, by yourself. For people that are, are top personal producers, how have you been able to create duplication in your team um, to have reached this run? Um... Right now, I think I'm, I'm in excess of uh, maybe 500 and something. Yeah. Um, you see, maybe I believe that you're going to ask that question, attrition and other things. So let me leave uh, that, that part. But you see, because I was still a baby when I was a senior rep, <laughs> and I didn't even know, I mean, what it, it, it what's senior rep meant. Um, when I got to director, I became senior rep in six days, 13 days I became a director. It was then I realized that when I call my boss, Kabute, I realized that he was also on a call. So, and it was not deliberate on his side. He was then also busy. So then I remembered that Kabute will ask which aspect of the presentation interested you most? Is it the business part, the travel part, or both? So in fact, I took a pen and a paper and wrote, wrote everything down. So in fact, when I'm talking to you, you wouldn't know I'm reading from a script, isn't it? <laughs> so I followed that. And I realized that the first one worked, the, the guy signed up. I think the third one also signed up. So I called Kapute, my mentor, and I said, Unupa, Chale, Inkbang. Mm. <laughs> I've been able to, I said, there you are, then you are. Then Kapute sent me the link for the registration and said, in the spirit of, I mean, unity, I think you have age now to create your own account, All right? And in fact, I remember that particular moment and I said that this guy is a great leader. So I had to watch. And then I was now created. And I think for about two, about a week, I gave him that distance. But periodically, I would still call him and then mm. Um, mm. ask him if I get top rank people just to, to also do the, the close up for me. So. Um, <laughs> I mean, um, I'm just, let's, let's just um, delve straight. We have some 100 and almost 200 people on this call right now, and I'm sure they are all itching to ask their questions. So unfortunately, we have to pace it up a bit. Um, but Dr. Boyson, tell us, what, are, what have been some of the challenges, some of the challenges that you didn't see coming that sprang up on you um, in building this business? Um, you know, because I grew, let me say, 
premature. In the first place, I was not in for the money and all that. Um, when I hit marketing director in seven weeks, I think in the new member orientation, when they asked me, I told them I'm going to set my clock to zero and see if I'm starting this thing all over again. And I think that mindset helped me because then I started having the challenges when the monthly dues started coming in. All right. So then someone will just call you. Ah, now there are no member with your monthly or matrimonial. So what I did was that I decided to replace all these guys. All right. So let me just tell you, 50% of the guys I signed up left. But it didn't affect me. Perhaps I should have been uh, a regional marketing director by now. All right. They all left. I didn't, I mean, it didn't affect me in a way because then I have reset my mind that I was going to do all over again. Because I realized that, yes, even though we we're signed up, because my growth was just sporadic. And mm. because it was that, uh, you didn't have time to kind of coach people, mentor them. Myself, I needed training, right? So, then I said that, okay, and that was the time I created my own group, my subgroup, and tried to put the people together. And then those who believe in what I was doing um, decided also to up their game. At Marketing Director, I only had uh, about, about six, six or seven qualified. I didn't have a first, a first star rep, but I said, first star rep. Wow. Wow, that's so see the kind of work I put in. A lot of a lot of individual work from your part. That's definitely amazing. Um, very, that's definitely amazing. I'm just in awe right now. So it means that most of the work was coming from your part. So, Doctor Boyson, how have you been able to combine this with? Of course, you are a husband, you are a father, um, a researcher. You've got students who look up to you. You've got a lot of responsibilities. How have you been able to combine? How, how do you how do you manage your time? Have you been, for people that are always coming up with the excuse of not having time to build themselves a fortune. What, how do you combine building world ventures with your life? Okay, so um, I said when I started, I was devoting 10 to 15 percent. But when I saw the income and I compared with what I was doing, I decided to up the percentage to about now, let's say I'm working around 50 percent. Um, you don't want to know my shadows, but it's crazy. But by the grace of God, I, I, I'm a, I work very fast, right? Sometimes something you could take maybe an hour to do, I could use maybe 20 minutes or 10 minutes to do. That has helped me. So I can, I can take a lot on my, on my decks and I can crash it within the short as possible time. But I sleep very less, okay? I, I, I think, before World Ventures, my time of sleeping was 1 a.m. before. So World Ventures came in and sometimes you stay up to 2 a.m. with capital currency. Okay. I mean, talking and all that. So you sleep and by 5, sometimes 6, you're up. And when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is to grab my phone and then compile another list. Okay, and make sure that between six and eight, I would have sent all the invitations and compiled the list. And then those who said they were going to join 10 a.m., 3 p.m., I do that and then come to office. Um, I have an office at my upper, upper chamber. That's where. Uh, I do most of my things. So I come to the office and but early in the morning when I wake up, I maybe a, a little chat with wifey and I go downstairs to the kids. You know, I mean we we all have very good relations. So I give them a hi 
all right and then those that i have to carry on, on my at my back i have to do that in the morning and then go around also uh see my my house manager i mean flowers looking at things i just watch if everything is then i jump i come in and they start academic work when it's 10 a.m i jump into the zoom i think i've, I've just missed the zoom presentation i think twice since i started almost every day i give a testimony on the zoom call okay so all these things are planned i, I know and there have been times harold i've been on a phd panel defense and you realize that it is time for testimonies and i had to excuse the panel and then give a quick testimony and come back because i have another fellow phd guy on this and the time is mm. so i just switch and then do that there have been times that i i do two presentations at the same time i'm listening to our main presentation and i have one of my downlines who have a group that i'm also presenting to so I'm doing the two at the same time. And that's what I do too. Because if you really want to do it, then you have to find time to do it. You really have to find time to do it. So talking about finding time to do it, what have you discovered in World Ventures that is making you literally um, do whatever it takes to make this work? <coughs> what have you discovered about this whole concept of World Ventures that is making you literally sacrifice a lot to just make this work for you and your family? What have you discovered? Okay, so... When I went to the back office, and also I also have an IT background, I used to be a programmer, and I saw, studied the models they were using for the compensation. In fact, I was blown off. So for me, I realized that the system can be trusted. That is one. Two, the fact that these guys have partnered with MasterCard. Mm. Okay, Payoneer. And you know, during my, my stay in GPHA, I was part of the ISO team and we, we went through the process, surveillance audit and all that. So when it comes to compliance, I have a, a fair view of it. So to have to So that was the first thing. And the fact that they have decoupled the payment system, okay? They have they've given that to a third party. I know you have the e-wallet and all that, yeah, to the third party, and that World Venture decides to pay you. So if you are looking at the risks involved, every Friday I receive my pay. I only have a contract with Payoneer to manage my money for me. End of story. The money has left World Ventures platform to their platform. All right. Now, when Nugent, I listened to him once. I mean, one of the, I don't know whether it was United. And when Nugent is our CEO, by the way, for those yes. of you who are not yet members. Yeah, the CEO. So he said something. He was rolling out a 20 year plan. And one of the things I do as a management consult, consultant is a strategic, strategic plan. So when I listened to him carefully, I said, no, no. Now, this is a company that you can travel with for a very long time, all right? And really, if this is what these guys are doing, then I guess that our people are just playing with this thing. That was what came to my mind. Mm. I said, no, these guys are just playing. You don't know what you have. Mm. right mm. they are just playing with it mm. just imagine you've been given a blank check totally a blank check that decides how much you are paid that's it and then you yeah and then people say that i can't find people facebook has 1.7 billion people right all right, Ghana is 30 million, a population of 30 million. Come on. 
Why can't you find people? Do you know, I did something weird when we were doing the registration, the voters registration. See, I drive to the place and start talking to people and I take their numbers. That's I've signed 10 of them. The people are everywhere. Now you see, maybe they are not hungry. And it's, it's, it's actually very important. You see, so that's why they, we are actually, our leaders actually say, you don't, you don't run out of contacts, you run out of courage. So we have the courage, this for the first time. <laughs> yes, having the courage to do what you just said. Let, let me write that down. Wow, you don't, you don't write, run out of contacts, you run out of courage. And, you know, I was even having this conversation with Charles two days ago, and even, it was a tweet, and I was telling him that the only reason I'm going to join that queue to do my registration is because I want to go there and then, you know, try to get a few contacts. So it's very, very interesting that you come up with this. Wow, you took your laptop all over there. So it's, it's like, it's, it's, for me, it's like you're just doing whatever it takes um, to make this work. But Dr. Boyson, what would you say to some members on this call who are frustrated, they've, been, they've, they've, they've signed on to this opportunity for for a couple of weeks a couple of months and they, they, they don't seem to be making any headway they go like i've had so many no's i'm tired of the no's i said i want to build myself a residual income business i'm no longer interested what would you say to people like that who are literally at the verge of giving up you see <clears throat> if i i mean i mean i mean i mean i sound very Hash. But if they want to leave, allow them to leave. Right? If they want to leave and they say they are tired. You see, I've come to realize that we don't really need to beg people to join this company. No. If they want to leave, leave. See, if you're on the call, our population in this country is 30 million. Let's assume the working class is, let's say, 10 million. What is the population of World Ventures? A little above 2 million, isn't it? Or 2 million. Mm. If you express 2 million as a percentage of 10 million, what are you talking about? All right? So if you're unwilling, to build your future, have the patience to build your future. And these are the same people who came and said that this thing is too good to be true. It's easy. Now do the job. They're saying you're tired. I know. I know. <laughs> you said it's too easy. It's a scam because you just invite people and then they pay you. But do the job and you're saying that. So if they want to leave, for me, I see people leaving the, the platform. The only thing I do is I want to engage you. Did someone offend you? If you say no, then I will just tell you that. Why are you leaving? You just tell me the reason why. I say, let me state the position. I mean, maybe you have some sort of confusion. Let me explain to you. After explanation, I'm, I'm not explaining for you to, I mean, join us. I, I, I just want you to go out there and not misrepresent us, mm. all right? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to go with that mindset because you hear that some, one of the guys I called, he said one of the guys said that, hey, World Ventures, they are not serious. They are taking people's money, really. How much did they take from you? How much? Mm. Essentially, mm. whatever you sign up for mm. was given mm. back to you. Mm. Amazing. So if Amazing. they want to leave, mm. if they want mm. to leave, Mm -hmm. You see, let's not pamper them. This is a serious business. Mm -hmm. Just this evening, one of my downlines just called me. This guy has been struggling. And he says that, Harold, uh, uh, David, um, there's a good news. I asked, I have the opportunity to present this thing to 200, over 200 people. I say, wow, where? These are people who had planned for their trip before the COVID-19. And now they are planning to go. This guy has been in for three months. That has happened. All right? And he's about, and the executives, they say they want to be in first. We have to do that presentation on Saturday. It's patience. 
And there are people around. There are people who are looking for this opportunity. I can show you some of the text messages. Sometimes someone calls me and I tell the person that this is it, please join. One guy lives just close to my house. He had me talking to someone close enough and he booked an appointment to see me. When he came, I asked him, what do you want to? He said, I heard you saying that whoever has invited you on this call is a lifesaver. So I want to know who, who, what do you who call is that life <laughs> Also, and I told him about Carol. I didn't do any presentation. I told him my story. He said, Dr. Boyson, sign me up. Wow. And the guy signed up. So if someone could hear, and I made that guy speak to my, my, my mentor, Kaute. And Kaute told him that do you know what you have done? You have just inspired all of us. And it makes us believe. That there are people outside there looking for this opportunity. opportunity. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much. Dr. Boyce, we seem to be running out of time. Um, we have we still have um, almost 200 guests on the call and I'm sure they can't wait. So um, ladies and gentlemen, at this point, I'd like to invite a few questions. So Dr. Boyesing, if you don't mind, we're going to um, invite questions from um, our live audience. But um, before I, go, I do so, I'm going to read the text. We have some questions here from some of them. And um, the first one is from Mr. Francis. My Inyan. boss here. Eh? Oh, I'm my boss. I'm my boss here. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you may want to give him some time to say some few words. Yes, definitely. Other than that, <laughs> other than that, that, I have to press. I have to do some ten press push-ups tomorrow. I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So, Mr. Enyan is asking us: Do you have? <laughs> You have to vary your invitation style looking at the status of your prospect. Um, so, Dr. Boyson, do you vary your invitation style looking at the status of your prospect? I've never done that. I've never done that. I don't know whether um, uh, you will do that. But hey, it's a simple, it's a simple thing. Status, maybe the person is a big guy, or, because what they sent to me. My student sent that to me. My student knew that I had a PhD. He knew that I, I do. But it was a simple invitation. And I, I, I just joined. So I don't know. I'm, you see, I'm not that experienced. I'm not mm. even four months old yet. Mm. But I believe that with this three and a half month, what I've gone through, mm. with all the big guys I've invited, including my former boss, who also joined the same invitation, Okay, and these are high rank guys. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe that we have to just maintain what we have. Keeping yeah. it simple, keeping it simple and following the system is what is key. Um, so at this, at this juncture, I'd like to invite a few questions from our live audience. The first person whose hand is up is uh, Peter. So Peter, if you can hear me, please unmute yourself. You have the floor. Hello, Peter. Uh, Hello, Harold. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Uh, please, my, uh, I have a, a friend lecturer at Tech, uh, and I asked him to watch. And uh, although uh, he left the, the scene, so I asked if he watched to the end. He said no, because he is not so much into, he doesn't really, he joined one and uh, he doesn't, it, he thinks he doesn't have the time to to do this and i want to find out if uh, dr boysen could uh, talk to his colleague lecturer at tech uh, on my behalf mm, mm, mm. So why so not? Not, you want but to why contact not? That, that, that shouldn't be a problem that shouldn't be a problem I, so yeah. um, just look for dr boysen's contact and um you know, let's take it from there. The next person I'm going to allow to speak um, is Eric. Eric's, Eric's hand is up. Eric, if you can hear me, uh, please take it away. Hello? Eric, kindly unmute yourself. Um, if Eric can't hear us or can't seem to unmute himself, we're going to allow for Nikwe. Nikwe, um, you have the floor. Yes, um, Harold, can you hear me? Loud and clear, brother. Awesome, awesome. Good evening, and thank you all for this um, 
meeting. Doc, I have a qu um, my question is a bit in two folds. So um you you show the representation to some somebody get excited and you start the sign 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 up process, but when it gets to the parts to make payments, mind you, this is not in in person, right? So so they have sent you their details, you are doing it, but it's just time to, to make payments and they are not just and they are just not crossing that bridge. Um how how do you get past that besides the usual for follow up or you've you, you know you've got a couple of days for for this, this to expire or have you had any cha challenges can us to make payments oh i'm sending you the money now then they don't send that's that's <laughs> the first part of the question and the second part is i yes there are the scripts for how to engage hold market and and everything but with someone at your status, like how do you engage um, those higher level people who end up as cold markets or who, who are called who cold markets? Like how, how do you engage these people? Okay, so uh, let me take the second one uh, because uh, that's, that's the most current one. So um, interestingly, uh, those at our level, I have a few of them who have joined, right? And um, it's just a simple invitation process. Uh, in fact, if I'm dealing with them on my level, it's just like dealing with uh, those at the lower level also dealing with themselves, okay? So um, you see the advantage we have in academia is that you will have to do a number of publications and attend conferences so that you are promoted, I mean, through the ranks. So I, I am of the view that uh, even those who are lecturing, if they are aware that this then will give them the opportunity to travel very less and they present, I mean, papers, um, I think that, that, that we should be able to convince them with that. Um, I have not, as it were, um engage them with a different strategy or whatever i i keep i have a process i have a a, a mantra something i say um keep it simple and stupid all right keep it simple and stupid you might think the person is a high rank person so you want to i mean do okay. something else to impress the person but mm -hmm. and then the second uh, the, the first uh, one has to do with uh, the signing up. I also had uh, those challenges, but later I realized that um, signing up really means paying. So in our engagement, I'll ask you, are you ready to pay? If you are ready to pay, then fill the forms. If you are not ready, wait until you are ready. Sometimes we are tempted to say that, okay, if I allow the person to fill the forms, then there will be that agency for him to work around and pay. But hey, you remember my example, I had to pull down a policy to pay. So if the person really needs this, I mean, he's going to pay immediately. Okay. Uh, okay. That, yeah. Right, 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 right. So we really are looking for those who are looking for us. And from experience, I can tell you for a fact, if somebody really wants to do it, they'll go every lens to get started. The next person I'm going to allow to speak is um, in the person of Dr. Charles Benning. So Dr. Charles Benning's hand is up, if we can allow um, him to speak. Dr. Dr. Charles Benning, you have the floor. Okay, um, good evening. Uh, to everyone here, and Dr. Boyson, that was a very wonderful um, interview session. What I want to find out is a situation where I have been able to convince a prospective group or a team, and they want me to come and do a presentation to them. Uh, as inexperienced as I am, because I'm less than two weeks old, would any wow. senior colleague or member uh, accompany me, or will there be materials readily available for me to go and do that presentation? Thank you. Doc, it's, it's very exciting to see you here. 
when, when I see my fellow doctor around, I become excited. So, you know, the advice, my advice is that um, in two weeks, uh, I don't know, you have not experienced, uh, there's a lot to read when it comes to God, but there's a lot to learn. In fact, I can tell you that it will even take you two years or more to discover most of the things. So I would advise that you contact me, something like this. I'm going to call Kabute. So <laughs> for instance, the guy who said he's gotten about 200 people or whatever, I just had this this evening and I'm sharing with you. The next thing, okay. call Kabute and tell him that, see, there's this thing, uh, this uh, presentation we have to do. And I think they are the most appropriate and suited for this because they might ask very technical questions that even though I've been in it for seven weeks or three months, I might not be able to. And, but what do you lose? At the end of the day, you are going to sign up under you. Mm -hmm. So I tell people, make use of your appliances. Mm -hmm. Our responsibility when we join is that we have to focus on invitation. Your appliance will focus on the closing up and World Ventures will focus on paying you. Once we do that, we are fine to, to go. Mm, mm, mm. Awesome. Wow. Now we have some Thank text you. coming. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Benning, for that. Um, yeah. So this My one pleasure. is from RMD Dehier. He says, doc, congratulations, Doc. Um, you are an inspiration to us all. I am, man. <laughs> rising to the top. Um, this one is from an anonymous attendee. says, uh, what is the next step? I got enrolled a month back. Please contact your leader. Contact the leader and your team. They will help you with a faster training. So the next question or the next comment here is from um, yet another anonymous person. What is your own status now in the business, Doc, um, to convince me and others to join this network? So much confusion everywhere. This is Kristen. Um, Kristen, I don't know if you have seen the deal, but um, if you haven't seen the deal, um, just contact whoever I invited you uh, onto this call to show it to you. I mean, once you see the deal, you just have the opportunity to make a decision, right? Um, there's really no convincing here. It's all about seeing and making a decision for yourself at the end of the day. Um, this one says, hello, Harold. Thanks for the presentation. Very good one. But please, I want to know, I have signed on three months, but no payment yet. How do I go about it again? I'm very much interested. Um, thanks, Doc, for your insight. So um, for those of you who are having these um, issues, you probably want to contact um, the leader and your team. They will help you and assist you um, with that. You know, the leaders are all over. Just reach out to whoever um, comments the most on your page. That person is likely to have um, an answer for you. Um, this one is from Victoria Oklu says, please, I'd like to know how many people do you need to stop um, you from paying the monthly contribution. So the monthly subscription, um, you just need a minimum of four to waive your monthly fees. And please bear in mind, the four need to be active. The four need to be active. Don't sign four people and go sleep on them, okay? Because once they go inactive, you are back to paying your monthly subscriptions. Now, this one is from Ikea says, thanks, Dr. Boysing, for this inspirational interview. My question is, how have you been able to engage your team to replicate your drive and energy? You want to take this, Doc? All right. So um, what I've started doing is to, I do, in addition to the new member orientation, I also um, do in-house training for them. I think I've invited my mentor, I think, on one, one of the, I mean, these programs. And he came to uh, talk to my people about building what momentum. And the the boot camp uh, it will interest you that i spent close to about two thousand dollars to buy tickets for my people that was the investment that i put in right because i realized that um, you either keep that money and lose all of them or give it out and then make sure that they attend the the, the boot camp they listen to the online presentation and it has paid off. Now I have, I have two um, senior reps, and the noble is almost hitting a director. Um, there are other three-star reps that are coming up as senior reps mm. also. 
So the excitement is there. And also on the main platform, you have the fireman, Nicolas Dier, always pouring inspirational messages and that, okay? And this inspires the members. So anytime I see some of these things, I send it through a local broadcast to individually to them. And I think this, this thing is also helping. And also I have one, one interaction. I, I can take the, the list and periodically maybe call one of the guys who, I, when I look at the report, is not doing well. And I just want to understand uh, what, what the person is going through and just to share the pain that that person is going through and then inspire them to, to stay on. Mm, so that's what I've been doing within the spirit. Right. Um, Eric, if, Eric, if you are ready now with your question, um, you may please speak up. Eric. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Good evening. And uh, also, Dr. Wesley, thank you for uh, being there with us. Uh, my name is er Eric Appel. Uh, please, there is this uh, a question and also a contribution that I, I want to make. I, I signed in uh, last month, that, that was 25th of last month, and I've been able to uh, sign, I've been able to sign in uh, seven people, but my downline is none of them have been uh, able to sign in yet. That's the challenge that I'm facing now. And uh, also, we always hear that uh, they say it's teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. I, I, will, I will also plead with uh, our appliances that they, they should at least help us so that we'll be able to, uh, since they have already qualified with the uh, being senior reps, directors, IMDs, if they can also give us some of uh, the people that they get so that we can give it to our downline so that, <laughs> that they may, they may also be able to at least whip up their, their monthly dues. That's my question. Doc, do you want to take this? Yeah, I mean, it, it's very good he's brought this thing up, okay? okay. And let me say this. Uh, that is a very dangerous thing to do. Very dangerous. All right? Very dangerous. See, do you want to build followers? Yes. That's the question I'm asking. All right, so why did you join World Ventures? Is it to get four people and waive your monthly fees? Or is it the fact that someone is earning $50,000 and you also want to earn that? So what if you get the four? What next? You relax? So for me, I have leaders, I've done this thing, I would think and tell you, can bear you, uh, me right. We've done, I've done these things and see, most of the guys who you put these people under, maybe if you, have, you had even put them under you, you would have even increased your, your income and probably, because they are not working. If you give, you have two legs, take notes. You, have, you may have a weaker leg and a stronger leg. You have to build your team very strong. Yes, you are also contributing to my team. But already you've been under me. You're on my one leg. And I'm also contributing to your cycles, your volumes. So if I begin to put people under you, what will you be doing? Your responsibility is to invite people. Then I will do the talking. What ventures pays you? Now you are saying that I should do the invitation, sign them under you. What will you be doing? And let okay. me also ask, mm. the waiving of the monthly fee. Those, so if I'm doing presentation, I normally don't say, I mean, this is monthly fees. It's your monthly savings towards your future travel. Except for the $25 you pay, or when you're a silver member, you ordinarily have to pay because that is I. The first time I heard from Jasmine, so I said, this is a la carte. You go buffet, you eat whatever you eat at then. Aside that, it is your savings. So if you're looking at the picture, target the residual income. If you target that, that is going to drive you. 
So we are not in to waive our monthly fees. Mm. Right. It's actually very important that you talk about this because we had IMD Anand on the call some weeks ago and he was talking about the fact that if you start a traditional business, you don't expect to reap or, you know, even break even in God knows how long, you know. So why would you come into such a business where you can make unlimited income and expect um, to, to, to not have anything or to not have any commitment in your first month, uh, you know, for instance. So it's very important that we, we have a business mindset about this and then of course a long-term mindset for that matter. The next person I'm going to allow and then after this we'll take one last one and we'll be wrapping up. It's already um, 10.46. So Stephen Fifi Andor, um, you are last but one um, person. You can, you, can, you can go now. Um, Stephen, if you can hear me, you have the floor. Hello. Well, if Stephen is not ready, we'll move to um, Nabil. Nabil, um, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay. So um, I'm guessing some people mistakenly raised their hands. Um, John Debra Aqua, I'm hoping that you have a question. This is the last um, person we are inviting to the floor. John Debra, if you have a question, you may shoot. Okay, so Maxwell, 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 you are the last person. If you have a question, please shoot. Okay, so John has Hello. unmuted. Yeah, uh, John Debra, De De can you hear me now? Okay. okay, let's go. Okay, um, I'm, I'm a Ghanaian, I'm saying in the US. I registered for the first of last month. Yeah, as of now, I've been able to sign up only one person, but I have. Uh, brought up more than 45 people to watch mm. the reason being that i i did not know where we have people in ghana registered so somebody introduced to me here from uganda called dorothy who also works directly under martin but martin has been doing the close-up for me but it seems like my and people here hear the accents and it seems to them like um it's, it's, it's something different in all together my question is i'm asking if um dr boysen or kabute or any of them can do the first time for me here because i i do invite almost 10 people every presentation that is my question dr boysen you want to take this yeah kabute is also here it's it's my, myself and him see as as much as possible um if the time we have the time okay we should be able to do this because we are beyond our personal gains it's a whole country agenda and i'll be willing to help in that regard because i rather get more of the people from uganda Botswana. they called me and when i speak to my fellow Ghanaians, they sign up under them there's nothing wrong about that so if i have my own fellow who wants me to do that i mean there's nothing wrong about it. this just to let us know that i mean that we are this thing is under so we, are, we are moving into a very serious explosion all right and we need to take this thing to the next level today alone i have done five close-ups for some of our friends across the african continent and guess what? they all sign up and the guys are all Ghanaians. So if you are here and you say, you say that when we talk to our people, they don't listen, how come they're able to do it and we can't do it? Let's think about that. Mm. 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 Right, so Maxwell is the last person we are going to allow to speak. Maxwell, you can take, take it away now. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Maxwell. Evening. Loud and clear. Oh, Yes, Doc, thank you so much for the insightful um, educative interview. Um, I think mine is one of one a question and probably a contribution. I don't know if probably the level of credibility that you've built over the years being a doctor, you think may have contributed to your sudden rise of, of, of to, you would have had some, would you call a special training and probably some small advantage here. My other issue is not even an issue. My other thing is a contribution. 
uh, when I, I think I started in May and I have to pay my monthly dues. And as I, as I speak now, I think I signed only one person, the silver, and I was having challenges with my, um, my visa card. So I have to now go, I, I paid to try to upgrade and my visa card, it's a lot of challenges. Now I'm sure a lot of people are going through the same thing that where, when you start something and at the initial phase, you are having some small challenges and you, you feel like quitting. So I don't know who I'm speaking to. All I want to say is that, as Doc said, this is a business. I've, I've, been, I've been privileged to have my own business before. This is a business that you are setting up and every business takes time. I think sometimes when we look at what Doc, Doc has done, somebody will like, ah, this man just came in seven weeks and he's just going so fast. But I can confidently say that his education and everything that he's done has helped him. Apart from that, we are not equal. Everybody in the time that they will pick. Maybe yours will be about three months. Maybe yours will be about one month. So my, my advice to everybody on the call is that don't look at dog's speed and get frustrated. I believe once you stick, once you stay in, once you remain coachable, and once you decide that no matter what, I will not quit until I hit my target, eventually you will make that money. Eventually, whatever made you decide to join, you will be able to achieve it. Thank you very much. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Maxwell, for that. Um, no matter the adversity and the challenges that come with it, it's a business. And like any business, uh, we all have our individual journeys and it's important that we accept it and then just stay the course and then success awaits us right at the end of the tunnel. So um, to wrap up tonight's interview, so Dr. Boy Singh, um, we, are, we are far behind time right now. I think we have to leave you um, to get back to your... Kabutis uh, has not Kabutis. spoken. No. I beg you. I'm going to allow you to, 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 you know, to, to share the stage with your mentor. Kabute, can I see your face? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, right here, right here, right here. I mean, I mean, Mr. Kansi, the man himself. Um, <laughs> listen, man, um, kudos on everything that you are doing. Do you have any words for us? Um, Dr. Boysen can't seem to stop talking about you. Kabute, what do you have for us tonight to wrap it up? Well, look, 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 I, I have to be honest. Tonight, tonight is not about me. Tonight is all about Dr. David Boysen. And um, look, to be honest with you, we, we all pray in, in this business that we do, we, we, we give our hearts out to everybody, you know, but some people just make the journey a joy and a pleasure. You know, some people, they set the bar high for even you as the as the upline, even you as as the person who's trying who's helping them, and they 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 help you to dig deep, you know. When Dr. Boyson joined, I think that for him, yes, somebody mentioned that um, his credibility as an individual, and of course, everybody has a history. So, um, if your history helps you, that's well and good. But some people also have great credibility, but don't have the confidence to still go out out there and do it. And I don't know if you heard Dr. Boyson clearly, but that. In getting his first six people on the first day, he had invited 30 people. So somebody will sit somewhere and say that, hey, you got six people. Hey, Charlie, the man was like you. Well, mm -hmm. six out of 30 was the percentage. You understand? Mm -hmm. so, look, the joy of, the, of working with Dr. Boyson was that he just saw the vision from day one. When he saw the vision, he connected to the vision. He understood the simple instruction. It is about numbers invite as many people as you can. And to be honest with you, in as much as we're doing a lot of closings together, I didn't even know the volume of people that he was inviting. I didn't even know the full numbers that he was inviting. Because of all the great, you know, close-ups that we did, and we did you know, literally like hundreds of them, you know, all the hundreds that we did is literally just a fraction of the total number of people that he had actually invited. You know, mm -hmm. so apart from the fact that his background was, was solid and strong for him to be able to build, uh, uh, to have credibility on this, he also went all out in the market. And he didn't allow any, um, you know, any rejection. You can't put Dr. Boyson down. You can't put this man down, you know. Uh, the, uh, he didn't even tell you. His own wife, his own wife, Dr. Boyson didn't allow me to say it. His own wife said we that he him. should not do it. Can you imagine it? <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. that? Yes. His own yeah. wife said he should not do it. So you know what? 
Dr. Boyson, today I just I just want to celebrate you. It's been an honor and a pleasure working with you. You 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 gave me the chance to be my my best self, you know, for you and for myself. And I'm just proud of everything that we have achieved. I know that the story is definitely not not over. It's not, it's not closed. We are definitely doing IMD, and it is going to come and it's going to come to the past. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Thank you, thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you so much, MD Kabute. Thank you so much. We truly oh, game over. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Boyce. Let me say, let me just say this. Um, um, this is what I have. I don't know whether I can turn this so that you see. I've just pasted on my wall. This is my office. And what I've done is this. You know, my father used to be very rich. He died some 30 years ago, and everything was in the sari. In fact, he was trying to create a legacy for us. So I also told myself that uh, if at the age of 49, the, the guy had made it, then I should be able to also. So I've been saying that I want to be rich. I'll, I'll, I'll be rich, I'll get money big time. So when I saw this and I went in and I saw what is in there for me, I then developed my vision and I've pasted it when you come to my offices, it's here. My dream, with your permission, let me read. My dream in what is, is to create wealth for my future generation. I will only stop when I'm done. Powerful. So I don't know what is gonna stop me, right? I don't know the kind of rejections. The one fantastic guy who I started with, very close guy, just resigned without telling me. Mm. But what drives me to do what I'm doing is the fact that I will only stop when I'm done because I need to create transgenerational income for myself and my future generation. So it's not about getting four. It's not about getting five. It's not, it's not about being an IMD, all right? It's about creating this wealth. So hitting an IMD, yeah, it's an achievement, but that's not what I'm looking at. I want to leave this earth for people to see my footprints and they will know that Dr. Boyson ever lived. And my name, like Michael Jackson, is going to stay mm. forever. So oh, thank you so much, wow. Harold, for the opportunity. Oh. And I'm blessed. And also your boss, Charles, for giving me the opportunity I saw his message and I, had, I wanted to give him five, five press ups before I do whatever I'm doing. So thank you so much. Thank you and so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Boyson. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have just heard from our fastest marketing director, Dr. David Boyson. It's been a very, very good one right now. I can't even find words, you know, to describe tonight's interview. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, um, Doc, for taking time out of your busy schedule um, to grace our hot seat tonight. Um, guys, so we are far behind time. Just go do the numbers. Tomorrow, there's um, Dr. David Boyson hiding in your phone book somewhere, but if you don't do the numbers, and you don't you don't continue flipping cards you would never ever find them so let's go do the numbers and hopefully you come across a dr david boyson thank you so much have a good night